Shane Warren succumbed to a heart attack almost a month ago, at the age of just 52, while on a trip to Thailand. All three of his children have delivered tearful tributes to him during a state memorial at the Melbourne Cricket Ground held today, and stars such as Robbie Williams and Elton John have also paid their respects via their music. Shane left behind Brooke, Jackson, and Summer, aged 24, 22 and 20 respectively, and his deeply emotional youngest child struggled to hold her feelings back as she spoke of her sorrow in acknowledging that he would never be present at milestone moments such as her future wedding. I've had to come to terms with the fact that you won't be able to walk down the aisle on my special day, a tearful Summer publicly stated. You're never going to meet your grandchildren that you're going to have someday, she lamented, but instead you will be someone I will tell my kids about. They would have loved and adored you just like I do. However, above all, she marked her certainty that he had saved her at a moment when she could barely cope with life. When I was struggling, and I didn't know how to go on with life, because I was dealing with my own demons, you showed me how I could fall in love with life again, she told the world of her much-loved dad and came out stronger. You saved me, dad. You truly did. Praising his truly golden heart, she added, your endless advice is something I'm going to forever miss. May you now rest in eternal paradise, I love you so unconditionally much, her poignant speech ended. Shane's middle child, son Jackson, also had words for his father, branding him not just the best dad he could have hoped for, but also his best friend. Time with you went way too fast, it feels just like yesterday that we were looking at each other's cards playing poker, eating pizza while watching the Saints, he lamented, adding gratefully that his father had never tried to pressurize him into following in his career footsteps. Pointing out that his close relationship with his father was not about a flashy lifestyle or material things but about their love for each other, he praised, he'll never forget how much fun we had doing simple things, grocery shopping, watching movies or going for walks during lockdown. Eldest daughter Brooke concurred that it was all about simplicity, adding, at the end of the day, he just wanted to be our dad. He wanted to be a part of our lives in every possible way. We were so lucky. Meanwhile, Kylie Minogue's sister, songstress, actress and TV show host Danny Minogue paid tribute to Shane as well, appearing via video to express her love for Mr. Sunshine. Former St. Kilda star Aaron Hamill also delivered a touching tribute to his friend, affectionately poking fun at his obsession with the TV show Peaky Blinders, and labeling him a binge Netflix watcher. He had told of how he had contacted the producers of the show asking if he could land a part in it, only to get the reply back, saying, Dear Shane, thanks very much. We love your enthusiasm, but unfortunately, Porcel and Veneers weren't around in Birmingham in 1931. The crowd burst into laughter at the cheeky response. Robbie Williams honored Shane too, having recorded a version of Angels from his home in Britain. Ed Sheeran was also among the artists who marked Shane's life with a song, choosing the late cricketer's favorite from his catalog, Speaking Out Loud. Meanwhile, Elton John dedicated his recorded version of the track Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me in a sweet tribute to Shane, 